Hey guys, welcome to my newly created channel. So in this video, I'll show you the progress and processes I did for my very long time project. Titanic 1 is the 175 scale model. I started this project since 2013 when I became obsessed with Titanic and of course I'm into arts and I'm just 13 years old at that time. Before, I did not research or look into any details of the Titanic, so it came out my very first Titanic model is just a piece of scrap and then I made another one which is still a crap. Every time I do another model, I found a new way and techniques until I gained more knowledge and experience for doing craft until it became a bigger project at a much larger scale. For about the fifth try of redoing the model, I figured out a way of doing the curves of the ship which is in this bottle. Then I abandoned it because it looked awful and it's my first time using fillers on a cardboard what a dumb again I used the fillers on a cardboard then another try but in a 1 is to 200 scale then it came out good but not as satisfyingly good then pandemic occurs when I decided to give it another try and I really promised to myself that this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna do the Titanic model. Lots and lots of research in detail or data gathering and so on. So the very first thing I did was print out the high definition Titanic photo on a 1 is the 175 scale. Therefore, I have a guide of doing it accurately. I also printed out the deck plans and supporting structure plan for the model. I thoroughly gathered data or photos that look similar to one another to avoid myself getting confused because there are lots of titanic photos or data that are inaccurate so I have to look for at least a decent and trusted one. It's hard to find high quality data of the ship since most of them are for sale which I can't afford to buy. So the materials I used is a 1 4th inch plyboard, popsicle sticks, and a polyester body filler. Using the printed and scaled hull supports, I then transfer it into the board. It took me few weeks to finish all the skeleton supports since I don't have any tools. I manually saw it. Sanding down the edges and curves to smoothen. For the whole body, I used popsicle sticks because it was easy to bend and cut.
few months of work, then I finally applied the body filler. For this method, it took me 3 months total in a span of 7 months because I still study and do work so not all the time I can do the project. It's so frustrating sometimes that when I finished off the day, I still did like a 3% progress throughout the day. Updated a year ago, I can finally continue the project. In this time, we are now ready to apply patching compound all around the rough areas and for finalization. For the patching compound, I mixed patching powder and white animal paint and then wait for about 2 days to fully cure, then sand it down. For the final stage of this haul, I painted it with white enamel. This keeps me reminded that this takes time and not to rush things, so I need to take a break and continue for another day. Throughout the year of procrastinated work for this project, I'm quite satisfied for my work. And until then, thank you so much for making this far in the video. Please leave a like and subscribe to help grow the channel. I really do appreciate it. And also comment to give me more suggestions for better videos. See you all soon.